So you get delivered. You smoking, you drinking, like move around. Make sure that you're not doing it in front of your kids. Amen? You hear me? Move around, bro. Sis. They are watching you. And when they grow up and they see you with this man and that man and this man. Oh, it's cool. I could do that too. Mommy and daddy were doing that. So it's normal. The enemy starts at a young age. He starts at a young age coming after all of us. We were all children one day, one time, a long time. Your boy is 32 now. I'm old. Alright? But that once upon a time ago, I was a young man. And I was watching things that I shouldn't have not watched. Because my uncles and my aunts were watching them. Thinking that it's all good. Nobody asked Jose how Jose was doing. All they cared about what Jose could do. Like... Go clean this and go pick up this and go sit over there and you suck and you're ugly and you're this and you're not this. You're not going to do this. All those words that were spoken over me as a child had to break it off of me. We can't treat our children like our parents or your parents tr tr treated you. You can't. You need to have the Holy Spirit. You need to be able to teach your children. This kid went and killed children and he was a child himself. Why didn't his mom know he had a pistol? What? Are you crazy? Spare the rod, spoil the child. Sometimes you gotta be able to give him a smack on the butt. Yo, hey, chill. And I only smacked you because of this. Not beat them. It's a difference. Discipline. No, we going here. I'm, I'm going here. So many subjects that we're touching on this morning. Hallelujah. There's so many. We're, we're touching so many subjects this morning. It's, it's the Lord. And, and I love Him. And I'm grateful for Him. See the parents in the house saying amen and hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank Jesus for giving me the two kids that I have. Thank you, Jane. That's amazing. All you parents out there, I'm praying for your grace, your strength. You guys are doing a great job. Y'all out there working hard. You out there trying to get it together. You, if you, you, you know, your husband's out there working, or you in the in the house, uh, sis, and you trying to take care of your kids and making sure your house is clean. Thank you for that. I love that one. I don't know why because it falls on my cheek. I don't know. I think that's amazing. But you out there like taking care of your house. Make, making sure your house is straight, your children are good, your, your man has a meal. Not all the time, your home, the, the man don't want to eat out all the time. We like a home-cooked meal sometimes. Okay? Like, it is hard. It's very hard. It's not easy. But, you can do it. The harder it is, the more you grow. Do you hear me? Like, the harder it is, the more you grow. Embrace the challenge. Nothing in this life should be easy. If it's easy, it's not challenging you enough. I, bro, if I didn't step out to certain challenges in my life, I got my bachelor's degree in audio production, bro. Like, I had no clue how to record somebody. I had no clue how to rap. I stepped out in faith. I had no clue how to live my life as a 17 year old man trying to figure out my life and being broken. I had to do it. I had to do it. I had to deal with the false accusations of being a baby daddy when I wasn't. I had a woman come after me all the way into the army trying to say that I was her, her kid's father. Do you know how crazy that was? Bro, as I married to my wife. Had to take my wife with me to go get swabbed to do my DNA test. Lo and behold, after three years of this girl bothering me, finally, I told you, I told you it wasn't my baby. That there's so much stuff. Like I can, there's so much stuff in my life that I can say it's hard though. But we have to be able to overcome it and push through. And God every day gives us grace, sis. Every single day. I believe in you. If nobody tells you that, 
I believe in you. Mucho. I think that I think that you're actually holding yourself back from how great you really are. And how much deeper you can really push. A lot of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yo, you guys are amazing. Let's uh let's keep reading Gabriel's message about the anointed one. Talking about Jesus, right? <coughs> Daniel 9, verse 20. You do, brother. Amen. Thank you, lovely. Amen. <laughs> no, you're amazing. Abzi, my sister. Nice to see you. So, he says, I went on praying and confessing my sin and the sin of my people, pleading with the Lord my God for Jerusalem, his holy mountain. As I was praying, Gabriel, whom I had seen in the earlier vision, came swiftly to me at the time of the evening sacrifice. He explained to me, Daniel, I have come here to give you insight and understanding. The moment you began praying, a command was given, and now I am here to tell you that it was for you. I'm sorry. And now I am here to tell you what it was. For you are very precious to God. Look at how he's telling Daniel this. Do you know that you are very precious to God? All y'all over here talking today. I don't know what's going on in this chat. I want everybody happy in here. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. I love how you guys talk to each other. Look at y'all over here interacting and stuff. Not paying attention. Look at y'all not paying attention. Oh, y'all. I see y'all over here talking around and stuff, man. You are precious, Mama Bear. You are very precious. I'm listening. I'm in tears. Hallelujah. I love y'all. Alright, let's keep going. So Gabriel's telling him, You are precious. In the sight of God. Listen carefully so that you can understand the meaning of your vision. A period of 70 sets of seven has been decreed for your people and your, whole, and, and your holy city to finish their rebellion. To put an end to their sin. To atone for their guilt. To bring in everlasting righteousness. To conform the prophetic dream. To confirm the prophetic dream. Vision, I'm sorry. And to anoint the most holy place. Now listen and understand. 70 sets of 70 plus 62 sets of 70. What? <laughs> Will pass from the time the command is given to rebuild Jerusalem until a ruler, the anointed one, comes. Jerusalem will be rebuilt with streets and strong defenses despite the perilous times. After this period of 62 sets of 7, the anointed one will be killed, appearing to have accomplished nothing, and a ruler will arise whose armies will destroy the city of the temple. The end will come with a flood and a war and its miseries are decreed from that time to the very end. The ruler will make a treaty with the people for a period of one set of seven. But after half this time, he will put an end to the sacrifices and offerings. And as a climax to all his terrible deeds, he will set up a sacrilegious object that causes desecration until the fate decreed for this defiler is finally poured out on him. So, what are all these 70 times? 70 plus 1, 7. Right? We're like, what? 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 He was telling Daniel of what was going to take place to the nation of Israel before the anointed one, the Messiah, came. Don't forget your YouTube dad. Yes, YouTube. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you said this long and you haven't liked. Why haven't you liked it? Come on, man. Click that like button. All right. Thank you. Katie. The 77s mentioned in Daniel involved a multi-time period that marked the amazing fulfillment. Yes. So what this is doing... So what is what he's talking he's referring to what was going to happen to Israel before the Messiah comes and then it's going to seem after they kill the anointed one after he's resurrected the world thinks that it's done oh he resurrected he's not coming back the antichrist is going to continue to rule and he's going to reign here and then he's going to set up he there's a, a scripture in the book of revelation that says he gives life to the image of the beast 
Dun, dun, dun. Life to the image of the beast. What? What is that? Um, guys. What's happening in technology right now? Can somebody tell me? Um, uh, has, uh, Facebook. Rise Familia, I love y'all. We love you too. Facebook is creating what? Somebody tell me. Please tell me you're awake. Exactly, AI. What is meta? Yes. That's just the beginning. A metaverse. What the heck is a metaverse? You can legit have these shades on. Well, you're in your home, but you're interacting with everybody around you like there. You can make your own little character. You can do all types of... It, it can be... Good. Don't you think there's going to be a lot of sexual impurity there? Guys, we are going to be... We are entering into an age of technology that is it's only going to increase in, in wickedness, bro. This technology is going to... I believe the image, the life that he's going to give is through this technology. It's through how we're growing in, in this understanding. He says that knowledge will increase in the in the last days. And he will make sure that he speeds up the time so that way us, we won't give in. Do you know how hard it is? You know how crazy that's going to be? People are going to have these things on their eyes. And we're not, we don't want to get out. Like we're just going to want to, you know, video games, that's going to be, we want to be in the metaverse using our Bitcoin, our Shiba coins. Right? For all you cryptocurrency uh, investors in here. We're going to be using that to buy outfits in there. To set ourselves up. And to be going to talking to other people. While you married. In secret. This just gives more and more opportunity. For us to go deeper and deeper and deeper into sin. It's coming. It is coming faster than we know. Isn't that crazy? It's crazy. We have been in now for an hour and a half. So right here I'm going to start like just prophetically just, I'm just going to start just preaching. And we'll say chapter 10, 11 and 12 for tomorrow and that will be the end of the book of Daniel tomorrow. A lot of people think there's a game. Y'all over there, and I hope y'all don't think this is a game. If you stumbled across this video and you've actually made it this far into the video, an hour and a half in, this is not a game. Yeah, an hour and a half has passed. Can you believe it? My YouTube name, it's in my, um, go into my, um, my name, JL777 right here, and I have a Linktree account. You, you can click on the YouTube thing, and it'll take you to my YouTube page, and you can subscribe there. Or, you can go YouTube.com slash JL underscore 777, just like my name here. Hey, man. So, Sailor Light says, I feel so good inside right now. Praise God. Yes, everybody who has a prayer request, put them in the prayer request box. My boy, Bert, prays for your prayer request every single day. I get, a, I, got a, I get a message from my brother, Bert, every day. Hey, don't worry about it, brother. I took care of the prayer request today. I love him. I have some amazing moderators here, y'all. Y'all go show them love. Thank you so much. As we're going to pray, I'm going to ask this question like I always ask. Yes, the Zoom meeting will be tomorrow at the same time, 7.30 um, p.m. Central Time. Sorry, it's been so much happening. The Zoom meeting, if you want to meet us in person, well, do you know Zoom? Last time we had a Zoom meeting was two weeks ago and there were so many people there. I feel like about a good 70, 80 people were there and coming on and off. And then there were some people trying to enter that we missed and we didn't see. 
we will send you the link. Either write me, write my moderators, um, go on Instagram and be like, yo, I want the, the, the link. I'll send you the link, okay? I'm going to send the link out to my moderators today so that way they can be able to share it to you. I got a lot to do today. I got to go to the post office. I got to go turn in these uh, these Bibles. I got to go get this haircut. Then I got to come back and then upload these videos and do do this little work here. So um, when I come back, I'll be able to give you the uh, the link moderators for the for Yatu Sabe. All right. Um, so if anybody out there, all of you in the room, all all of you in the room, who has never accepted Christ as your Savior who has never devoted your life to Him. <coughs> what are you waiting for? What are y'all waiting for? If you want to give your life to God, if you want to have a personal relationship with God, say yes. Yes, I want to. Harry, God bless you, sis. Have a great day at work. Yes. My brother Eugene, always say yes to my brother. I love you, Eugene. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I want to. Yes. Yes, sir. YouTube, if you guys are not following me on my TikTok and you want to be a part of these lives, Go follow me on TikTok, JL underscore 777. Over 300 people on here right now. So many people are saying yes as I'm speaking. This is amazing. Thank y'all for your uh, for every new subscriber. Thank you for every uh, comment and like that you did for this video. I appreciate it. And I'm praying even for y'all. If you said yes, put it in the comment section. Yes, I give my life to you. I, I want to dedicate my life to God. Amen. Yes. So here we go. So we said, I really, I want to rededicate. Everybody with me. Everybody with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I believe. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to pay the cost of my sin. I believe that he died and that after three days later he resurrected. God forgive me for all of my sins. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And for those who are praying this to recommit, Father, I recommit myself to you forgive me for all of my sins and all of my disobedience fill me with your spirit and from this day forward I will serve you in the name of Jesus I pray amen amen and the Bible says that whoever confesses with their mouth and believes in their heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, they will be saved. Now I'm asking you to go find a river, find a pool, buy a pool, get baptized in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen? I just want to tell you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart. There is a good at least hundred of you that join every single day. Every day I see y'all. And I love you guys so much. When I see your names, I see your names, I, I already know. I'm like, oh yeah, look, I see it. Uh, Sophia's back. Tammy. I see them, Jen. All y'all, Amy. All y'all, all y'all, every single day. Redeem. Sandy up in the house. Andres. Liz is here, Urena27, all you guys who come in here, Tatiana, you guys are amazing, all of y'all, wish I could name all y'all by name, but just know that 
I am very aware. I see you. I thank you for your support. I thank you for your tapping of the screens, your roses that you give me, and the gifts that you share, and the cash apps that you do send, even when you, nobody even knows. Things are happening because God is giving me a family in this ministry who believes in what God is doing. And I am forever, ever grateful and thankful for y'all. And for you two family, I, I just inviting you into this relationship together as we continue to grow together. Amen. My brother Terry texts me and says, at least 53 people said yes to Jesus today. 53 We can never We will never know How God sent his people here I am so grateful Somebody said rise I love you too my sister So let me pray And for those of you who are new here Alright And you're seeing those potatoes And you're seeing those purple hearts You can put a purple heart and a potato In the comment section below That means Papa's love that means your boy did a heart one, one day and one of our faithful viewers, Tatiana, said, it looks like a potato. <laughs> and so we just ran with it. And it means potato love. And in Spanish, potato is papas. And papa, papa is father. So we just ran with it with papa's love. Amen. I got to do it for the YouTube family now. There it is. So how do you do that? You just put a potato and a, and a uh, purple heart. They say rise and rise. Rise stands for restoring Yahweh's zeal. Restoring Yeshua's zeal. Restoring the fire of God back within each and every one of us. To rise up into our God-giving purpose. Amen. My YouTube is the same as my name. You can also go on my profile, click the link tree account, click on the YouTube app, and it will take you to my profile. Or you can go youtube.com slash jaya underscore 777. Amen. All right, so let's pray, okay? I love y'all so much I know I know you guys want a hoodie I, I, I'm I waiting I can't wait so let's pray I'm praying for you Max we're gonna pray right now sis thank you Lord Father in the name of Jesus we come before you as you did an amazing amazing work again today God you are so incredible you are so amazing you always blow our minds with your goodness you are who you say you are God you are faithful and just Lord I thank you for over 53 people who said yes to you this morning and recommitted their lives to you or have accepted you as their Savior Holy Spirit I'm asking you to just encounter them and keep them Father I'm asking you that you help us Father God stay away from the evil one and you help us be committed to you Help us not be led by our emotions because of things that are happening to us that we can't control. Help us leave everything at your feet. Heal us from our depression, from our anxiety, from our fornication, from our lustful ways, from, from uh, our ungodly ways. God, I'm asking you for breakthrough. I'm asking you, Heavenly Father, to show us your heart. Show us your heart like we've never seen it, God. Show us your mercy and your compassion. Because of because not because of we deserve it, like Daniel prayed, but because that's who you are. And you're not like us that you say something and then don't do it, God. Whatever you say, you do. You are faithful. You are pure. You are holy. You are righteous. You are the Alpha, the Omega. You are our great intercessor. You are our Redeemer. You are our provider. You are our healer. You are the one who sees us. You are so many things, God. But what you are is our Father. 
and you care for us. So I'm asking you, Heavenly Father, for not only myself, for all my brothers and sisters in here who are listening to this prayer and the sound of my voice today. I'm asking you to release freedom in areas of bondage. Freedom. I break off every lying thought in the name of Jesus. I come against every word that was spoken over their minds even as a child in their subconscious God that has been clinging on. Be loosened in the name of Jesus. I come against all, uh, all unclean spirits in the name of Jesus. Get out. In the name of Jesus, get out. Spirit of perversion, leave. Spirit of lust, go. In the name of Jesus.